Hello, friends. People have long kept dogs for company and protection. Meanwhile, even though wolves look similar to our pets, they still remain predators that should be feared. This story happened in a small Siberian village where a lonely old woman lived. She didn't have a family and all her relatives and friends had died a long time ago. The woman was retired and kept a small farm. One day, hunters passed by her house. In a Russian village, you can safely knock on anyone's door and ask to take rest and have some tea at any time, day or night, paying for it with a conversation. Tired men made their way to the village and knocked on the first home they saw, which belonged to the old lady. They brought along some prey from the forest, three little wolf cubs that were left without a mother. The men left early in the morning. They took two wolf cubs, leaving the third one behind. It was the weakest one, so they simply left it on the woman's porch. The little predators are very similar to ordinary yard dogs in childhood, so the old lady decided that it was someone's puppy who wandered into her yard or maybe ran away from children. Since the owner never came for the puppy, the animal remained with her. The wolf looked like a dog, but he still had the soul of the forest hunter, so he happily chased chickens and geese around the yard whenever he could. But the wolf loved and obeyed his owner, so he only chased the birds when she didn't see. And if she did catch him red-handed, he pressed in his ears and crawled on his stomach, asking for forgiveness for his misbehavior. He lived in the courtyard during summers and spent the nights inside the house with the old lady during winters. Due to the fact that he didn't bark but only growled, the woman named him Volchok. At one point, rumors spread around the village that some criminals had escaped from prison and were now wandering in the taiga, so people began to lock their doors. And the news never reached her. Or maybe she simply didn't pay much attention to them. So one night, hearing someone knock on the door, the naive old woman let the unexpected guests come in and they turned out to be the fugitive criminals. They came to the village in search of food and shelter. It turned out that having spotted the house on the outskirts of the village, the criminals spent some time surveilling the house. And only when they were confident that the woman lived alone and no one visited her did they decide to act. They thought they'd take care of the only witness and then be able to hide inside her house without no one ever seeing them. But fate had other plans. Volchok was waiting for them inside the house. Only now he turned into the true forest predator, baring his teeth and growling at the intruders, protecting his owner with his body. One of the criminals took out a knife and wanted to attack the animal, but he only managed to injure the wolf's paw. But Volchok showed his true face. He was so fierce that the uninvited guests had no doubt that he was a very dangerous predator. They chose to flee the scene, but they didn't get far. Local dogs all began to bark and howl so much that all the local men rushed out of their houses armed with guns. What could three emaciated fugitives do against an angry crowd of stout men? They were quickly caught and handed over to the police. Volchok recovered, but since the incident, he became even more wary of strangers. But he still loved and protected his owner, just as before. And that's all for today, friends. Did you like this amazing story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.